Okay, so we're going to move on to midfielders. Support. You pass or you present? I think that's, I think that's hard to say. Is it? How, how far in the past do you go? <laughs> We can go I'll as far as you want. I like. think it's hard to see. Right, do you know what then? To generalise it, just like if you give the reason why I could I could judge the the defenders because we spoke about a lot of names, a lot of players just then. And if you look at the players and we spoke about and we compared it, then there's enough legends in the past. So I think maybe maybe at the end of okay, I'll this give, then we could. I give you an example. Who do you rate highly? Just give me two defensive midfielders that you rate very highly in the present. In the present, yeah. You think are top notch. Kante. Yep. And um oh yeah, I'm sure there's there must be more, boy. In the Premier League, Kante hundred yeah. percent. Right, Bundesliga. Oh Liga. anyway. Anyway, yeah. Oh, Busquets. Okay, so that's the two you're throwing out there. Yeah. I'm I'm my my if I had to pick the top two okay. for their varying different roles but yeah Kante and Busquets right, that's cool because the reason why I ask you this because when I throw out Lofa Mateus and Redondo where do they come compared to these two no Mateus was hard but I think he, he could play anywhere yeah he played sweeper he played holding so I think to compare him is a bit harder and Redondo played higher up the field than just CDM so so about Rijkaard then, people like Rijkaard. Yeah, as DM. when he went spitting in the man's hair, he was... <laughs> <laughs> Rijkaard was a baller. Uh, uh, yeah, decent top player. Yeah, of course. Mateus Sama as a DM. He was, I thought he played right back. No, DM. Okay. He later on went to um, centre-back, but as a DM, Maybe he I'll was... someone else. He was Yabstan as a DM. You wasn't getting past him. There's times where this guy had a broken nose, broken face... Yeah, wrapped up head, he'd still get on and go for a brick wall. And then okay, because where you're getting, you're getting way back in the past. Uh, you know, I thought I don't know. So would you say okay on on how you're doing it now? Would you say Makalele's past or present? Past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. all day long. All day long past. Oh, just because he was getting back to the race. Oh, okay. So DMs, you think present? Not currently playing. Yeah. Not currently playing. Um, Kante. Kante and Biscuits, I think, are the best. Um, but then name me two that you want me to compare. Because the two, I think, the two that you you gave me to compare, I'd say the present wins. Okay, so For what the about two that you gave me to compare? Roy Keane and Vieira then, as DM CMs. Roy Keane Vieira. Vieira was my guy growing up. Yeah, come on, he's Big everyone's Pat. guy. He was the man. Yeah, of course. He was the man. He'd wipe the floor with Kante. Yeah, easily. And Keane, he, he'll break him as they on purpose. He done it so. Admitted it, don't care, nasty. But he could play. Like Keane's ball playing ability was highly underrated. Yeah, very. Um when he was young, obviously he had a lot of success going forwards at um at Forest and then, you know, in his early career at United. Uh and he, his role changed a bit. But, you know, both of those two guys fight as warriors leaders. The battles they used to have. You know what time it was. Yeah, that that was that energy, everyone sparked off that. I mean, you didn't those have battles. to you know I wasn't a United or a Palace fan growing up. So, I mean, a, a United or a Arsenal fan growing up. So, but everyone could vibe off that. Yeah, and they were just course. both like, you know, everyone wanted to, to be, I don't know, in the ends and that anyway, people, in the, especially the black youths, wanted to all be, if you're playing centre mid, like Big Pat. Yeah, Big Pat, he, he yeah. was, he's a prominent figure in the Premier League, in worldly even. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so is Keen. Easy, easy. And as you said, those battles, I miss those battles. We don't get battles. No, you like, don't get no you don't. Like that. They're not like that no more. They're not like that no more. So where would you rank Patrick Vieira and Roy Keane amongst the greatest of all time? I'd say Vieira's better than Keane, personally, mm -hmm. for me. And they're up there. They're, they're definitely near the top. Both of them. As as holding players. Yeah. So would you say Pass is better than present, or are you present over pass for that CMDM? We're talking Premier League or just everything? Everything. I, I, think, I, I don't know, I'm sitting on the fence on this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have pick, to come back to that I can't, one. Pick, I can't, yeah, I don't know. All right, so... Because if you put, say, Lam in the present, there's only a few seasons since he retired, mm -hmm. Lam was a gr amazing right back. 
But the man mm. Pep put him into the CDM at, at Bayern. Yeah. He was moving mad. Yeah. You know, the Makalele, you could arguably say, you know, depending, that's what I said, depending on what, what generations you want to split things up, yeah. you could say Makalele was the present. The Makalele role. Yeah. They, the named, role, they yeah. named the role after him. Yeah. Bro, Perlo, where are you putting him in? Like, past or present? Yeah, I mean, these are these yeah. are some serious ballers, you know. Serious ballers. Well, Gattuso. Needs... Yeah. But Gattuso, for me... Like he was a fighter, wasn't it? You're more of just a... <laughs> <laughs> he was an enforcer. He was more of an enforcer. Yeah, he, he was, was, he an, was an animal. Ability-wise, probably and then, zero. you know, as he got older in his time, scores dropped back a little bit deep and just played quarterback, pinging yeah. balls left, right and centre. You're pulling some names out of the bag, which leads me. <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing. Mate. <laughs> leads me <laughs> to the million dollar question that we always argue about Skulls or De Bruyne? Right now, it has to be. And this is, and the thing is, this is not easy for me to say, but I have to say De Bruyne. I, I, I have to say, no. like, but Skulls, as you know, grow, like growing up, that's one of my like. I love Skulls, like the volleys, right foot, left foot, ping, like it's mad. But I think the brain offers a, just a little bit more now. Going forwards, he can score. He can score the worldy goals that Skulls could score. He could hit those those passes on a point like Skulls could do. But some of the passes and the whip he's doing on some of them, the through balls, I think the way he he can dribble, I think he can dribble better than Skulls. I think the brain edges it. Just I'm not saying this, there's a lot in it, and that hurts me because growing up, like not many men would want to wear number eighteen, but I'd rock number eighteen if there was one because of skulls. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's his man. Like he was moving crazy. All right, crazy. for me, me you know, personally, but you know, skulls is skulls is definitely one of the greatest, and I think if I think you know right now I think the brain is better, but I think you know it's you know you're comparing careers to careers. Um, I think you know if De Bruyne continues on his path. I think he'll he'll be what, go way past goals. But I respect some of that goals. The time when he came back, mm-hmm. he retired, and they pulled him back. Man had to exactly. go. Man had to go sports direct and get boots <laughs> to keep it twi- quiet. And that Fergie said, "I need you back in." And they yeah. nearly won the league. They just lost on goal difference when he yeah. just won it. And like he was a catalyst of when he came back and drove the team on. And that's when he was playing deeper, and he still had the pings. Obviously, he didn't have the legs, um, and he could never really tackle. So, but scores, yeah. But I think right now, you know, and the mark, it has to be, it has to be the Bruno. It has to be the Bruno. All right. I- I let you talk because I was just listening and looking yeah, at you yeah, with so yeah, much yeah. anger. And um, <laughs> I just want to cry with what I'm hearing. <laughs> like me personally, I've got to put it out there. Nobody touches skulls. Nobody. He's the greatest sentiment for you. Uh, English, yes. The greatest thing England's ever produced minus Bobby Charlton. What scores, scores over Gerard? Easily. Easily. Gerard's a better tackler. That's it. Skull's um, technical ability, he can actually walk in a room with Pirlo, Jabby Alonso, all these big names, and say, I am Paul Skulls. There's no English player in history that can walk in a room with those players I named and say, I am Paul, I am whoever you are. They, they couldn't do that. Do you know what I mean? Like, Gerard, he, he's there. He's definitely there. What are you saying? What, Shearer couldn't do that for strikers? Oh, hell no. Hell no. Come on. We'll get on to that. <laughs> but... um. <laughs> Yeah, um, Skulls, ability-wise, he's all round better than um, mm. than De Bruyne. De Bruyne may be a, a better dribbler than him. I I, I give you that, but um, long ball distance distribution, no one can talk to Skulls. Come on, I don't I don't even think there's a there's no, a. He's got no. Obviously, players can talk to Skulls on that. Not even Bex can talk to Skulls on that. But I, I think I think De Bruyne can talk to Skulls on that. That's what I'm, I'm not saying. I'm not taking it away from him. I'm just saying. There's certain things that Skulls did that I think the Bruyne can do and can do a bit better. Um, the goals Skulls, Skulls have scored. Um, he scored. He's turned up in the Champions League. This is a question mark for maybe the whole Man City team. <laughs> I was say, you can't just put that on one man. Yeah, this, this is, <laughs> you, can't, you, can't, you can't put that on one man. This is a question mark. Um, Skulls is um, ball control. I think he annihilates um, De Bruyne. Annihilates? Yeah, annihilates him easily. Um, Skulls' ball control, he 
he is not English. Put it that way. He he <laughs> he, he is foreign. That's that's how good Skulls is. He's ball controls out of this world. Um, it's everything about Skulls. You got you got to look at it like this. Another question I'm going to pose to you and and all the people listening: If De Bruyne got injured with a fully fit Man City team, could they win titles still? Yes. Could they win the Premier League? Yes. But since Skulls has retired, Man United can't win no, no Premier League. They won Premier Leagues without Skulls. When? I'm sure they did. They ain't won a Premier League without Skulls. This is what I'm saying. <laughs> they can't win a Premier League without Skulls. Skulls is everything. No, but I don't think... Yeah, but so, so you're saying the only reason why United won all those Premier Leagues is because of Skulls? I'm not saying... Uh, just because and of you, him. And you're saying what? City but I'm only, saying... But then are you saying City are... City have only won Premier Leagues they've won because of the Bueno. No, I'm saying he's not needed as much as Skulls have been think, needed. I don't think... Look, man, you know, there's some quality players and quality midfielders all the time. I don't think Skulls is the only reason why they won. That. Okay, but then would you need to bring the Bruyne out of retirement twice? No. But you'd have to do that with Skulls. What no, about longevity? Do you know, do you know why? Because City got that Arab money, bro. That's why they won. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. Why they won. But do you think Skulls in his prime playing in City and... De Bruyne in his prime playing in United, what what would be the difference, do you think? I don't know about the difference. I just think De Bruyne is better. So you think De Bruyne is better than Skulls? Yeah. There's people listening in that are saying, what kind of stuff is this guy of smoking? <laughs> of course. Um, like I said, I, I rate, it's not like I don't rate Skulls. Skulls is one of my favourite ever players. Yeah. I just think when you put it into context, I think De Bruyne is better. So do you think the Bruyne's better than Gerrard and Lampard then? He's he's definitely better than Lampard. Mm-hmm. Overall, as a player, mm-hmm. um, I think he's yeah. Overall, he's better than Lampard. But you can't take away Lampard's goals. Yeah, no one could, like as a goal scoring midfielder. There's not a player I don't think that's ever played the game that can talk to to Lampard. Now the media don't want to hear that, and when I say media, I'm not talking about like whoever I'm talking about in general just people yeah. people don't want to give Lampard the respect they want to give but the amount of goals he's scored no one no, what, what goal scoring midfielder can talk to, to Lampard mm-hmm. come on um, but people don't want to hear that but um, yeah but I think overall as a player I think I think De Bruyne is better um, Stevie G <laughs> um, I think yeah if I'm going to say he's better than Scholes I have to say he's better than Stevie G as well but Stevie G's a wow. warrior, bro. This is this, this is a big shout, you know. <laughs> De Bruyne are better than Skulls and Gerrard. Wow. Why not? Ram Sunas really has worked his magic on you, my friend. Oh, shut up. Don't <laughs> ever put my name with, with Sunas. <laughs>